Hello, it's me, Nature Audios, and we're doing another Wednesday Adams X listener because you guys really like this. Uh, if you do want, like, anything else, you can just, like, tell me. Like, I've had some people ask me, like, if requesting's okay, if, like, yeah, like, I take requests all the time. I'm completely open to, like, anything you guys want. I'll do what you want. Um, yeah, so, like, anything, any other characters or anything you guys want, like, I'll do it. I don't care. Um, yeah, just request it or any of the fandoms, just, like, anything like that. I'll do them. Just tell me. Um, but yeah, if you want to, this is where you make out with Wednesday because she's so beautiful. I would give my heart and soul to make out with her, just saying. <laughs> but anyway, if you want to read this yourself, the link will be in the description if you want to read this week and let's get started. You are sitting at your desk doing some science homework with some soft music playing in the background when you heard three soft knocks on your door. Come in, you raise your voice, being a tiny bit confused because of the late hour, before smiling widely as Wednesday Adams walked in. Are you still not done? Wednesday said, not even bothering to look at you before sitting down on your bed in the corner of your room. I was just finishing up and say and hi to you too, my love, you responded, rolling your eyes at the beginning to clean up your stuff on your desk. Good, I was thinking we could watch a movie together. Wednesday says, disregarding the slight annoyance in your voice, making herself more comfortable before, before putting one of your stuffed animals onto her lap, secretly loving the scent of you being onto it. And she smiled a teensy tiny bit, which went completely unnoticed by you. Totally. <laughs> you glanced at her, sitting on her, sitting with her legs crossed, cross, sorry, my headphone out, fell out, and your plushie on her lap. With her hair slightly disturbed from the moving around on the bed, your gaze had nothing but love and adoration in it for your beautiful, gorgeous girlfriend. Before getting up from your seat in your desk before turning off your laptop, you walked over to Wednesday, who was looking out at the moon, and laid down next to her. What do you want to watch? You asked, putting your laptop on your stomach. The silence of the lambs. She answered and in a monotone voice, laying down, putting her head on your shoulder and connecting your pinkies together, getting a slight pink hue on your her cheeks from doing so. But we've already watched that like 10,000 times already, Wednesday. You sighed, staring at her, and it's good. It's a good movie. She turned her gaze from the laptop screen and she saw you already looking at her with a soft smile. You pulled out your hand from hers before tucking a strand of loose hair behind your ear behind her ear, moving ever so slightly closer. Can I kiss you? He asked, waiting for her consent to do so. Please. She answered, whispering, whispered, leaning up in a bit into your dark, into her dark lips, finally met yours in a soft peck, pulling away with a little stare at the slight mark of her lipstick had left before leaning into kissing you again with more desire and need. Her hands moving up to your hair while yours moved to her hips as she crawled up the straddle of your lap, you sighed softly, when she ran her tongue across your bottom lip, asking for entrance into your mouth. This continued for a good while before you pulled away and looked at the damage you'd both made. Your shirts were ruffled and your hair was everywhere. You also had a big red lipstick mark on your jaw that was surely going to get some curious... I meant to say hickey, I didn't mean to say lipstick, sorry. That was going to get you some curious looks the next day. You chuckled softly, not removing your arm from her. What? Wednesday asked, trying to stop the big smile from appearing on her face from your gorgeous laughter. I just love you so much, Wednesday, you say, kissing her cheek. You're quite pleasant to be around, too, my dear, was all the response you got before she laid your head, her head on your chest and you finally started the movie that would go into the night.